A game jam is an event where developers make games, usually in a short time period while sticking to a theme provided by the host of the jam. While certainly not mandatory to become a good game developer, game jams can be immensely helpful to developers at every stage of their journey. So what are game jams good for? The way I see it, there can be two main benefits that game developers can derive out of game jams, which are that game jams can allow developers to practice number one, execution, and number two, design. I have discussed these topics in more depth in a previous video, but you will be able to follow along regardless of whether you watch that one. When I say that game jams help you get better at execution, I mean that they allow you to hone the skills that you use to bring a game to life, and they do so by helping you build engine familiarity, familiarizing you with the workflow, and giving you the opportunity to sharpen your graphics, animation, modeling skills, and so on. As a result, you gradually begin to learn how to implement an idea. While this benefit is derived by developers at all levels, it is most effective for beginners who are usually not well equipped to come up with innovative ideas and instead want to replicate or take inspiration from their favorite games. I myself have done this in the past by inadvertently making an Angry Birds clone and creating a game inspired by brain dots. Once you start making more and more games though, the challenge no longer becomes about whether or not you can implement a game idea, but rather about whether or not you can come up with a good idea. This is where you can start deriving the second benefit from game jams that we discussed, which is that they can give you the opportunity to learn a design. You can practice coming up with innovative game ideas given the theme or limitation that you have to work with. Many people like to say that limitation breeds creativity, and while that is certainly true to some extent, I like to think about themes and game jams a bit differently. In my mind, the theme that you are given to work with gets you thinking in a certain direction which can be very helpful as opposed to sitting down and trying to fish a game idea out of an ocean of endless possibilities. In fact, many successful games have come out as extensions of ideas that developers came up with during game jams. Some famous examples would be Celeste, Snake Pass, Baba is You, Rollerdrome, and there are many, many more. Now, there's a third benefit which I didn't mention at the beginning because it is a quiet and subtle one. As you participate in more and more game jams, you will slowly realize that your portfolio is growing bigger and bigger. Before you know it, the number of games that you have made and published reaches double digits. In my own dashboard, 5 of the 10 games that I have published were made during game jams. One can even say that I would be half the developer I was if it weren't for game jams. Since game jams can play such a vital role in a game developer's growth, and since that is what this channel is all about, we will most certainly be hosting game jams once or if our community becomes sizable enough. That's all I have for today. Today's quote is as follows. Chain starts with accepting yourself just the way you are. This has been Cupid. I'll see you in the next one.